My name is Yael David and I'm a chemical biologist for Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. I was trained actually as a basic scientist. I did my undergrad in neurobiology. I went into a PhD in biochemistry. In fact, some of the work my lab is doing is develop and apply these very cutting edge chemical tools that will allow us to ask new questions in biology. I'm interested in how decisions are made in the cell. And these decisions are often made by the genetic information. But the genetic information is very unorganized, and one of the proteins that organize it are called histones. They allow specific genes to be accessible at specific times when they are needed. So what happens in cancer often is that genes that should not be expressing are now expressing, and genes that protect the cells from becoming cancerous are now being shutted down. What we're interested in understanding is how histones control these accessibility to these genes. And what we found is that histones react directly with sugar. And that gave us a, a direct link between metabolism and gene expression, which was never known before. What we hypothesized is that reactive sugar molecules will be attached to histones, and that will change the chromatin architecture and can drive cancer cell formation. We started seeing amazing signals on histones and changes in chromatin architecture, which was our first aha moment. Seeing these patient samples was actually key to our research. And we saw those signals, it was okay, this could be a very significant finding. Sugars are very reactive molecules. And for example, glycation, which is the addition of sugar to proteins, is the hallmark of diabetes. There was a science paper that came out that shows that DJ1 is an enzyme that can remove glycation from DNA. So we figured if it's already in the nucleus, perhaps it can be the protector and the eraser of histone glycation. And when we express it into cells, it basically, it's like a superhero. It protects the cells and it doesn't allow any glycation to occur on histones which is remarkable. We decided to check what happens in cancer cells. What we found is not only it overexpresses in cancer cells, but they still can't get rid of the glycation, which is completely counterintuitive. Then we went on and looked at DJ1, and if you take out DJ1, the cells just die immediately. And if you give the cells more and more DJ1, they just survive much, much better. To us, that means that cancer cells are now vulnerable. The ultimate goal is for us to be able to give cancer patients a DG1 inhibitor and basically causes their tumor to shrink or completely go away. I think it's going to be applicable to all cancers that are high metabolic state, such as breast cancer, non-small cell lung cancer, pancreatic cancer. Getting the Pershing Square Sun Award initiated a whole cascade of reactions. Uh, first of all, I was extremely humbled. The way I see it is this award gives me a responsibility to conduct research that can actually help other people. It's, uh, it's really an amazing feeling. Okay.